Good evening, Todd Butterfield, wyckoffsmi.com. Doing an update here for our learncrypto.io website on Litecoin, a follow-up discussion on the uh, video we did, I believe, on the 27th, when we thought a jump across a creek and a backup was uh, being completed. So let's get to that chart. Here's the up-to-date chart. We've got Litecoin up here above 55. And uh, you can see here, since the 27th of our buy signal down here at the 35-ish level, we've had, uh, we rallied, we tested that low, and then we've had nothing but straight up since then. Down here at the bottom, you can see steadily increasing volume, which we would expect to continue. Again, we want to go back over this. We had a buying climax on the rally up here to uh, the 39 level which we mentioned on the previous update. You had the sideways action, where you had a spring down to this level. You tested it a few times. You had a shakeout, which tells you you're getting ready to make a move to the upside. We tested the shakeout. We had the jump across the creek that we had detailed for our buy. This was on increasing volume. And then why Bitcoin came under pressure here during this time frame, you had Litecoin pull back to almost a 32 level. And uh, you can see no real volume. That's where we gave our buy signal. And then we had a rally off of there. We tested it on really low volume here last day of June, first day of July. And since then, it's been straight up. We don't have the count, the upside count for this because we don't have point figure charts on these uh, cryptocurrencies, which we are working on. We expect to have that in the very near future to give us some type of upside objective. But from the look of the chart, we should have more upside here over the uh, weeks ahead. So we would trail a stop, and, uh, but we look for more upside. Stay tuned to uh, this blog site for updates, also our Twitter. and. Uh, Hopefully we'll keep giving you uh, good trades on these cryptocurrencies. Thank you.